Percentile ranking refers to the percentage of the population that falls below the given score. There are three examples of percentile ranking on this slide. The leftmost example is for percentile ranking in the seventh percentile. This person is above 7% of the population. In the middle is someone who's at the 50th percentile. This person is at above 50% of the population. On the right is someone who's at the 99th percentile. And this person scored above 99% of the population. For our question, we're asked a normal distribution where the mean is 70 and the standard deviation is 12. What is a percentile ranking for the person who scored a 74? The first step we need to do is to draw the picture so that we can see visually what's being asked of us in this problem. Our mean here is 70. The value that we're interested in is a value of 74. Notice that this divides our distribution into three parts. We're interested in the percentage of people who scored below a 74. We know that half the population is below the mean, just like half the population is above the mean. The mean divides it in half. So the proportion of the population below the mean, below 70, is 0.500. To solve this problem, we're going to need to determine the proportion of the population between the mean of 70 and the value of 74. Now we know what we need to do, let's go ahead and get started. Our next step is going to be to figure out how many standard deviations there are between this mean of 70 and this value of 74. Our z-score formula is value minus the mean divided by a standard deviation. The z-score formula tells you the number of standard deviations between the value and the mean. For this problem, we have our three boxes. The top left box represents the value, 74. What goes in the top right box? If you said 70, the mean, you're correct. And what goes in the bottom box? That's right, it's 12, the standard deviation. Now we need to solve this. 74 minus 70, that's 4, divided by 12. That's 0.33. What's that saying? We got a normal distribution where the mean is 70 and the value is 74 at the distance between those two is one-third of a standard deviation. Not quite a full standard deviation. What we're going to do next is go to the z-table to find out what proportion of the population is between that 70 and 74. At the back of your workbook are two z-tables. The z-table that we're interested in is for the area between the mean and z. So you'll want to find the z-table that says area between the mean and z. Along the left side of the z-table, it tells you z-scores to the tenths place. And along the top row would be the z-score at the hundredth place. And we'll combine this information. Our particular z-score that we're interested in looking at is 0.33. Notice that along this left column, it goes to the tenths place. Along the top row, it goes to the hundredths place. Here's our 0 0.03. Combine that with our 0.3, and get 0.33. Then we move along our row, and down our column. And this 0.19, that represents the area between the mean and z. So that area is 0.129. Okay, we have the information we need to solve this problem. Our 
fourth and final step is to fill in the information and solve the problem. We have our mean of 70, our value of 74. As shared, these two lines divide our population into three areas. The area below the mean represents half the population, so that's 0 0.500. The area between the mean and our value of 74 was 0.129. So we go ahead and we put 0 0.129. Finally, just for completion's sake, this area above the 74 is going to be 1, C, 3, 0. It's going to be, no, no, that's 4. No, point. 3, 8, 1. I was figuring that out in my head. <laughs> Hopefully, you figured it out faster. Notice that half the population is below the mean, and that half the population is going to be above the mean. This 0.129 and this 0.381 should equal 0.5. When I add up all three areas, they should equal 1.0, or the entire population. Now, to solve our percentile problem, we just want to know the proportion of people who scored a 74 or below. So we're going to add up the 0.129 and the 0.500. So we have 0 0.500 plus 0 0.129. That comes out to be 0.629. So that's the proportion ranging from 0 to 1. 0.629 of the population is below 74. For percentile ranking, we need to turn that into a percentage. We can do that by multiplying it by 100. That will come out to be 62.9 and as a percentile ranking at 62.9 percentile. So the person who scored a 74, that person is at the 62.9 percentile. 62.9% of the population scored below that person.